I'm JJ Ramberg, and welcome to Your Business, the show dedicated to my audience are entrepreneurs, people who are in the trenches every single day, and I am one of them. And so, what help can I be to me, right? So, how do I get it so people out there don't feel alone and feel like there is a resource? I am a daughter of entrepreneurs. I'm a granddaughter of entrepreneurs. My grandfather, my dad, my mom's father, and my mom started companies. No one ever told me, you should run a small business. I think because I grew up with parents who were entrepreneurs, it's just, just what I think about. I always thought that I'd want to start something, but when I graduated college, I didn't have an idea. I loved working in the news. I did my receptionist job as best as I possibly could so that I'd be considered for other jobs in the future, which I was. Date life was an amazing experience, but I, I wanted to get more education and more exposure to other things. My sister got her MBA and my brother got his MBA, and so it seemed like a natural, good way to go. Thanks, guys. CNN were opening a Silicon Valley bureau. So I went and pitched them and said, I have business skills and I have journalism skills, but I want to have a crack at being a reporter. The idea behind Good Search was you search the internet, you get Yahoo search results, but you select a cause before you search and a penny will go to your favorite cause. Hurricane Katrina, it was such a, a disaster. But I knew, because we've all seen this, that eventually the cameras were gonna move away. The attention was gonna move to something else. So I thought, we're just about to launch something that can keep the longevity of attention on this cause. So if our idea works, if someone chooses the New Orleans Red Cross or ASPCA New Orleans or some tiny nonprofit that's helping people there, Good Search is going to be able to do that. Ken and I just started calling people. Literally, I would call, hi, American Cancer Society, this is JJ, and I have this great new way where your supporters can help you without spending a dime of their own. We did that for all of the big organizations. They had made something like $2.37, and my brother and I called each other like, it's working! <laughs> this organization has already made more than a dollar, it's working! And that first year, we got to write checks to all these organizations. We launched Good Shop as a part of Good Search. When somebody shops at a store, Good Shop receives a percentage of that sale. And when somebody selects a cause, we donate 50% of what we receive to the cause, and then the other 50% goes to run the company. As you can see right now, I'm supporting the ASPCA. One and a half percent of my purchase will go to the ASPCA. Good Shop, that was successful. And then we thought, we should do good everything. So we launched good dining, good trial. We launched like five good things um, and then proceeded to kill them off one by one because none of them took off except what we did is we added coupons to Good Shop and that made Good Shop take off. Kirsten Bank Ness is more than a triple threat. Uh, I think a lot about my career as an entrepreneur um, and a, my career in television, and I feel like I've been really lucky. I, I was open to the luck that came my way. Thank you so much for joining us today. I often take this time in the show to let you know something I learned this week, but today I've got some other news. After 12 years on the air, your business is coming close to its final episode. Your business is going to be ending. 
To say that I'm not sad would be bananas. I am incredibly sad. I'm wondering about what comes next, right? Because this is a moment where something will come next. There's, there's no more status quo. So we'll see.